if you have the latest book, and I, I highly recommend that you get it, A Primer on Partial Least Squares, you'll note what I just said to you is also reflected in figure 2.14, where it highlights the three multi-item reflective measurement models for those three constructs, and then shows you the single item construct for CUSA. Well, what are these measurement items? This is the actual data that you load in from your spreadsheet, presumably. Where, where does this data come from? Well, as is typical with survey type data, since we cannot directly observe COMP, this latent construct, we will ask survey respondents, we'll ask our sample consisting of, in this case, people who are responding to a survey, to respond to a question. A question for COMP 1, a question for COMP 2, and a question for COMP 3. And in this case, we use a Likert scale, which is very common, a seven-point Likert scale, where you read a statement to the subject and they respond one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven, where one is usually coded as negative and seven coded as the most positive response. For example, in this particular research, for the three multi-item latent constructs, they respond to each question where one is coded as fully disagree, thus it's a, a negative feeling, a negative affect, and seven is coded as fully agree. But what are the specific questions? Well, again, if you have the book, look at exhibit 2.15. Comp one is the subject's response where one is fully disagree and seven is fully agree to this statement. The company is a top competitor in its market. Comp two captures the response to this statement. As far as I know, the company is recognized worldwide. Comp three, the data for comp three, is the subject's response to this statement. I believe that the company performs at a premium level. Similarly here, in figure 2.15, you see the exact statements from which the data was collected for the measurement items for likability or like, and the measurement items for customer loyalty, which I am calling CUSL. Now, un unlike the three multi-item latent constructs and their associated measurement items, CUSA consists of subject's responses to a, a single statement, which is captured still using a seven-point Likert scale where one is very dissatisfied and seven is very satisfied. Note that although we're not anchoring their response to that statement in the same way that we did with comp, like, and CUSL, that is, we're not using one fully disagree and seven fully agree. Instead, we're using one very dissatisfied and seven very satisfied. It's still a equivalent because one is the strongest negative possible response and seven is the strongest positive affective response. And again, two, three, four, five, and six are gradations in between those two very negative and very positive anchor points. And if you want to know the exact statement that they respond to for this one CUSA measurement item, it is, if you consider your experiences with this company name, how satisfied are you with this company name. Note that satisfaction, if you go into the literature about user satisfaction, you'll find that there's a strong argument for using just a single item to capture user satisfaction. Okay, so now we have fully specified this simple PLSM model. We have specified the structural model in stage one, which consists of identifying each of the latent constructs and then hypothesizing about the effects between and among them. That's the inner model, structural model, theoretical model. But then we implement each one of these latent constructs. We, we cannot directly measure them. That's why they're latent. With a set of measurement items or a block, a measurement model, if you will, separate from the structural model for each latent construct. Measurement models, again, can be reflective. If they're multi-item, they can be reflective or formative. But they can also be single item, in which case it doesn't matter.